Good evening parents, I'm Priyanka Khandelwal Gupta from Pune. I'm an education consultant and a design thinking expert. I work with a lot of schools across India, UAE and Singapore. To check out my complete profile, you can uh, log into LinkedIn. Now, November, December being the admission season, uh, anybody who wants to change their school or take admission in uh, a school, this is the time that people apply. Now, before getting into which school, which board, etc., today I want to address a very grave concern that I have had uh, for the past couple of years. We as parents unintentionally criticize the education system, the schools, the teachers, the management in front of our children. Now, I agree that the current education system needs a lot of improvement. There's a lot of scope, a uh, lot of uh, good things that have to be done. But that aside, do we need to criticize them uh, in front of our children? What impact does it make on the kids? Imagine you have to go to office every day, but every evening your parents, especially your parents, they say that the company that you're working for is uh, is a horrible place. Uh, these people are very mean. Uh, they don't know what they are doing. Uh, it's not a great place to work. This is what you hear every evening. And every morning, you are expected to get up, be ready, go to the office, perform, excel, get promotions. And these expectations, mind you, are from the same parents who are criticizing the organization. How confused will you be? Will you be able to work with the focus, the dedication, the passion that ideally you should be in this scenario? Now imagine us, our children are going through this every single day. Every other day they keep listening that the education today, uh, education system today is so corrupt. Um, the very, uh, you know, the favorite line uh, of people that I always hear is that the education business, they've made education as a business and they're all money minded. You listen to all of these things. The child listens to this from the parents who have the most influence on them. And then the child is expected to get up early in the morning go to school, be a part of the system which is being criticized left, right and center all the time and excel in it. This is so unfair. How can you expect that? You know, we unintentionally um, say something about a teacher that she's not that great. She needs this kind of improvement. Oh, how silly. What, what a silly mistake this teacher has made. How has she corrected the papers? Whatever the issue is, speak to the teacher directly, speak to the school people. Uh, speak among your colleagues, but not in front of your children. If you don't respect, if the children see that uh, the current system is not being respected by my parents, then why will I respect it? How can you expect them to respect? And if there's no respect, how will there be any learning when they don't look up to the school that they're going to or the teachers that they're learning from? How will they learn? So let's please stop criticizing the system. I agree a lot of improvement is required. There is no denying on that. But only criticizing, especially in front of children, will never help. It will only make it worse for the kids. So let's take a step back, empathize with the kids a little bit and be a little more sensitive about this. You can discuss as much as you want. It's a democratic country. Democracy is always good. You should speak out. But what are you speaking and what are you speaking, especially in front of children? is very, very important. So my earnest request is please be careful next time when you're discussing, see what you're discussing in front of your children. They don't deserve this uh, dilemma, this uh, difficulty every single day. So until next time, bye-bye.